Hello YouTube. So I pulled the panel off of my QS13870 HV3 motor it has the reduction gear. I'm just going to show you what it looks like real quick. And after 8,000 miles and very hard off-road riding, my tire is constantly spinning. I'm catching roots and rocks. I've ripped the valve stem on my inner tube, so I know it's taken a lot of abuse. This little bearing right here uh, became a little noisy. I mean, this motor is dead silent, so I didn't want to take the panel off until I knew the size of the bearings and if, until I had all the right tools. So I'm gonna make this video here. So if anybody is concerned about their motor bearings or replacing them, they can prepare themselves. It's super, super easy job. It's not hard at all. So um, so the big bearing, this big bearing here, there's actually two of them. I'm gonna show you the other inside of the motor in a minute. Um, it's a 42 by 20 by 12 bearing right you, you see that they they removed this this little piece that's the dust cap you don't need it because it's got the um uh, the 85w140 gear oil in there which protects it nice so uh okay the little bearing right here this is the one i have to replace uh, i found a bearing puller so it, it'll be here in a couple days i'll make another video on, on how that works and um so that one is 32 by 12 by 10 the, the small bearing here right um the drain plug uh, this small one is an M10, just a typical drain plug. I heard Polaris drain plugs work good. Um, the, there's a larger uh, drain plug. I'm sorry, this is the fill plug, and I believe this is the drain plug. It has a magnet right there, magnetic. So uh, that one is an M12, right? Um, the oil, uh, the 85W140 gear oil, they say use synthetic. I know purple, uh, royal purple looks like pretty good uh, uh, gear oil. They use it in Mustangs in the rear. So uh, it says 45 milliliters, but I heard a guy's putting 65 milliliters in there. So that's what I'm going to go with, right? Um, and then the sprocket, uh, the motor sprocket, the best one, in my opinion, is a 15T. If you go with a um, 16T, it, it can hit uh, this part right here. So you want to stick with maybe a, a 15 or a 14T, and that's just a six blind. Uh, the center hole is 14 and 17 millimeters. So the, you know, the smaller is... 14 and a larger area is about 17. That's a universal sprocket. Um, it really super easy to find. And then check this out. So on the motor itself, the, there's one more bearing and it would be this one right here. So on my on my motor, um, like I said, uh, the motor is dead quiet. So I, I heard a tiny, tiny bit of noise. I, I didn't know what it was. It, it sounded like a wheel bearing or something. So um, you know, I replaced my chain. Um, I changed the oil and all that, but I just, I just, knew that this bearing was just making some noise. So I'm gonna replace that. Um, I found a bearing puller. Um, it, you know, it's hard, it doesn't have much space in there to pull a bearing. Um, I don't know if, if this has anything to do with it, uh, you know, if this is a push through or not, but I, I'm waiting for QS to respond and I'll find out and I'll make another video and an update on how easy it is to remove up these bearings. Bearing puller and uh, happy riding guys. 